CFS View Edit Estimate. In this tutorial, we'll learn how to edit your estimate in CFS. Once a job has been entered, an estimate will be created that includes all of your materials for that job and any labor you've added. Let's take a look at how you can customize an estimate even further. Your estimate can be found in the Reports menu of a Scratch Builder or in Miscellaneous Estimator. To save time, I'm going to load a completed job in the Chainlink Scratch Builder. This will take me straight to the Reports menu. On the right-hand side, click View Edit Estimate. The CFS program will automatically come up with the correct number of items for the job, but that's under normal circumstances. We have several editing tools to modify the estimate for real-life situations. If you need to delete something, simply highlight the line and press Delete on your keyboard, and you'll see that it's gone. To change the quantity of an item, you can highlight it and click Edit Line Item. You can also double-click the line or highlight the line and press Enter. Anything that gets it to come up here at the top of the page. Now the line item is in editing mode. Let's say that I want 16 of those 3-inch brace brands instead of 12. I'll type in 16 and then press Enter and Enter again. Now it's out of editing mode and you can see that 16 is the new quantity. You never want to enter a zero quantity to remove a line item because if it is the first item in the estimate it will cause an error. Now let's look at adding an item that was not included in your job estimate. Let's say you're doing a repair job and you need some 4-inch heavy tension bands. If you click on a line and press the insert key on your keyboard, it will insert a blank line above the line that you are on. I want 6 4-inch heavy tension bands. If you know the record number that you'd like to add, you can type it in. But you can also press your F2 key on your keyboard, or click the magnifying glass and search for the item in your master file. I could go to my fittings category and look through my tension bands, or I could use the keyword search to find heavy tension bands very quickly. I will double click on the record that I want, and that brings it into my estimate. If you want to add something to the end of the estimate, you can click Append. Enter the desired quantity, and now I'm going to add in something that was not in my master file, something that I don't normally stock. To do that, I'll type in a W and press Enter in the record number space. W stands for Write In. If you forget, it's written down here. This will be a special part that I ordered for this customer. So I type in the description and press Enter and then an amount. I'll put in $35. The program is asking me whether $35 is the cost or the retail. If you click Cost, the program will add your default retail markup, which happens to be 50% in this program. If you select Retail, the program will leave it alone assuming that $35 is what you want to sell it for. When you're done appending, simply press Enter and it will take you out of append mode. If you'd like to discount an item, you can use the Discount Line Item option. Let's say that I wanted to discount this gate holdback. I will click on the line to select it, then press my Discount Line Item button and a window will appear where I can enter the percentage I'd like to discount. If I didn't want to use a percentage, I could check this box below and enter a dollar amount. For this item, I'll enter 20 to give a 20% discount. Press Enter, and the item price will automatically be recalculated with the appropriate discount. You can also edit an existing description. Let's say that you are going to sell some used tension bands from materials that you've recovered and you don't want to charge full price for them. I'll highlight the tension band line. The quantity is correct, so I'll press Enter. Now I'll type my W for write-in. 
and you'll notice here that it puts none as the record number. This disengages the program from tracking inventory if you have inventory tracking turned on. It's kind of hard to see, but there is a cursor in the box, and I can move it to where I want and edit the description. Then it will prompt me for the price. I'll click Retail because I want to sell them for $0.57 cents each. The last editing technique can be done with Chainlink Parts. For this particular job, I'm going to add in a fabricated post. It's going to be 7.5 feet long. I'm going to insert a line. Quantity is 1. For a fabricated post, you'll need to enter a P for post. Then press Enter and now it's prompting me for the record number of the per foot pipe. Up here it says, enter the part or record number of the pipe. I'll enter the record number and then press enter. Now it wants the post length in inches or feet. I can simply type 7.5 and it converts it to 7 feet 6 inches. And here is my new fabricated post record. Using these editing techniques, you can customize an estimate for every situation. More information on editing estimates can be found in your CFS manual.